we were blessed to have the presence and service of an angel by the name of Miss Carla Blue. And as many who know Carla Blue for one aspect or another to be a tremendous impact. But Training Grounds was so blessed to have her impart herself and her spirit into our lives. And uh, we miss her tremendously, but her legacy still lives in our sessions, in our trainings, and in our journey. already declared it. Right. Did we not? Yes. Did, yesterday, did we, we did we declare your possibilities? Right. I believe it. You believe it. Together, we are in agreement. Right. Your destiny is yours to choose. Back in 2005, when we started Training Grounds, I really didn't have a sense of what kind of impact we would have. When I look back and I just look at all the families and communities that we've been able to impact and have a relationship with various people that have come through the program and some of them you'll find running programs and we're talking about everybody's concerned about returning citizens and TANF recipients and troubled youth and young adults I'll just say let's just keep on loving on humans and providing them with the best opportunity to find the greatness that's already within them. I'm somewhere Somewhere in my future, in my future, and I look even better. And I look even better. And I look right now. And I look right now. You know, I've been very intentional with the work around finding more support and opportunities for what we call returning citizens. But I just see the citizens part. We speak about transformation in training grounds, transforming lives. All that hustle that I put into every day of going out there getting it. You can still get that same hustle, legitimate person as the way society look at you. You know, it was a struggle between, you know, right and wrong, right and wrong. My wife in my ear, she's saying, look, you don't have no more room for her. You know, you get to a point where, you know, you're 40, 30, 40, 50 years old, and you're still yes, doing sir. the same thing. Yes, People are like, hey, man, I got to turn around somewhere and walk away. No, um, the thing is, you got three guys right here that's smart enough to take advantage of the opportunities that you presented us when we got here. One of the examples I think of with the LOVE program are our site coordinators at uh, Jet2 and at Orchard Park. And Quita came on the scene as a young woman wanting to coach and participate in Biz and Hoops as a member of the, the community and now has evolved into a tremendous leader in our LOVE program. I teach like finances on Tuesday. On a Wednesday, we're doing like Wellness Wednesdays. Um, Thursdays is like Tech Thursdays. And Fridays is like Freestyle Fridays. Um, Saturdays will really be um, focused on giving back to the communities. Um, we have this program called Early's Place, where she kind of focused on the teens and the adolescents and teaching them how to love themselves and teaching them about um, core values and teaching them about you know, how to deal with, how to cope with different things in life. Like, my children been shot. Like, they been molested. Like, they go through when it burns fighting. Like, a lot you know but it's just that simple lifting our values every day it helps children it helps adults because children go home and their parents see the change within their child right now a lot of people are looking for a second chance or looking for a new start in the career path and opportunities to be able to learn and get certification and training in areas that enable them to be self-sustaining I see me and everybody that come here that needs some kind of form of help because I've been in that situation where I've needed it. And this position has given me the opportunity to help. Allow me to do more than I've ever thought I would be able to do. You know, I never envisioned myself running the program, assisting people. I always was, I was the one who was seeking the help. Now I'm actually helping. Training Grounds provided me with the confidence to do certain things and provided me with the leadership 
and it empowered me to be all I can be. What Training Ground brought to my life, hope, <laughs> stability. But I thank God for training rounds. Because listen to what it say, training. I mean training. The day I did corking around somebody's tub. Hey. <laughs> Biz and Hoops is a program that um, has a lot of elements to it, but it's a chance to take young people um, 11 to 21. Um, we've gone as old as 27 in some years. Just off the streets in a cool place to hang out and gather, watch people uh, play and also participate in sports and basketball. But it's way more than that. Through the Biz and Hoops program, a lot of my guys were able to um, be a little more successful and you know, have more opportunity than they once had before. And um, I mean, I think it was a great program. I've been honored to, to lead Biz and Hoops. And this opportunity for them just to get to know each other better, to ease a lot of the tensions that are usually based on things that they can't even uh, recollect. Hello, I'm Tanya Anderson. I'm the program director for Team Builders Academies. Training Grounds is a great partner. Um, the candidates that they have sent us, they are well, um, they're ready for the workplace. They are ready to learn, eager to um, get the materials, get the information, and get the credentials necessary to move on into in their career. This is about opportunity. This is about bringing advantage. This is about leveling the field a little bit. And, uh, what Tom Brown does is incredible. What Training Grounds does is incredible because it gives people opportunities they wouldn't have otherwise. But I have to say, by and far, the most important aspect is the way Training Ground connects to the young, especially the young men in our community. Well, what I believe that Training Ground brings to the community, the uh, Roses of Parkland community, is that he brought a sense of uh, leadership and um, a place where the guys could come in the community that are hanging on the street, somewhere where they can come in and have a confidant. But you have the tools now. And you know what we say? We gonna give you the tools, we gonna give you instruction on how to use the tools, and you gonna decide how much you wanna use the tools on that. Or which tools you prefer to use. But when I adapt, my my process doesn't mean I'm gonna turn back and start going in that direction again. Because true transformation means I am not what I used to be. I'm somewhere. I'm somewhere in my future. In my future. I look even better. And I look even better. I look right now. I look right now.